Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. I have received my rig here, oh this is a little inside joke here. Guy that posted to the Bitcoin forum about how he was really mad at Mt. Gox when they were down and, and that's where they came up with the term Gox. So, kind of inside joke, pretty funny though. But anyway, I received my rig from Bitcoin rigs, so I want to do a shout out for them. I ordered Enthusiast rig with two 6970 cards, and it comes with Ubuntu 10.10, I think it is. So, anyway, that uh, didn't come with the cards installed, which is not surprising because it probably could damage them, but it just came two cards in the boxes and then everything was set up I didn't have any problems installing the cards and got it booted up and it went right into Ubuntu it had everything preload so guy does a great job and I really recommend him now unfortunately I'm doing a little struggling trying to get things working so I'm gonna ask for some help here first I wanted to look at some charts these are some charts that some readers have told me to go to. This is an interesting site here. This is Mt. Gox Live and it is a breakdown of the market depth like I showed you before. And we've been falling today. We were holding really steady for the longest time at about 16.8 and the market took a real drop down to into the 15s. So we're going to watch and see where it goes. So this is a kind of a neat chart. The other one is at Bitcoinity. I'll provide both the links. This one's kind of neat too because it gives you it actually has Mt. Gox and Trade Hill and BitMarket, which I'd never heard of the BitMarket. I don't think that one trades a lot, but you can see that Mt. Gox and Trade Hill are here and they're charted against each other. So it looks like that big sell-off took the price down was on Mt. Gox. And it looks like Trade Hill fall a little bit, but Trade Hill still hasn't come down all the way down to where Mt. Gox is. So there's about a 40 cent difference there. Are they going to be arbitrage? I think they will be. The arbitrage has make been making things a lot tighter. So that's another neat site because you can choose to do all or choose to do just Mt. Gox and then you can see them here it shows you the last trades and how long ago they were so there's another really neat site so I wanted to jump over to the drama that I've been having here with my Bitcoin rig and I've never run Ubuntu before so I'm totally new to it so been running into some problems trying to get things configured and the first one was just getting trying to get everything to boot properly and I got stuff loaded into the startup area and that seems to be working I'm having some problems with VNC part of his latency coming to the machine I'm not really sure why that is I turned the cards off but anyway, let me go to a screenshot that I took. This is the screenshot, and that's why I'm not live on that box right now, is because I'm having problems with VNC. So this is how it comes out of the box, and these auto load when you boot up. And you can see I've got device one and device zero, and you can see they're both running at 361, 362 basically mega hashes, which is about what he described. He said 700. So that's working. You've got the terminal here with the temperatures. You can see, I don't know, that's real hot or not, 74 and 60. So both running at 96%. Now, problem comes in in that I think what I'm doing here is I'm just mining on my own. And I don't think that that's going to work. So I've been playing around trying to get the miners to work and that's been quite a problem I think that I don't have the rights or permissions to make the changes to this so 
what I did was I went to the file and I opened up terminal on this and tried to drop in the commands that they tell you you're supposed to use and when I do that for example I went to the command line and pasted in this comes from BTC guilds recommendation if you're gonna run Phoenix this is the command you can put in so I pasted this in starting here at this dot slash Phoenix dot py dash u etc etc I had uh, brother John F underscore test is the username and test is the password and what I get when I try to do that is I get bash permission denied so I'm not really sure how to get by that one at this point I think that I have to alter the permissions on that and I think I have to go to command line to do that so don't really know how to do that I have to research that further so if anybody out there knows an easy way to do that I appreciate the help also need to work out the VNC problem I've been you know I haven't spent that much time on it I've spent maybe eight hours total trying to get everything working learning Ubuntu which I've never used before so it's been an adventure uh, a couple of times I've just wanted to throw in the towel and install Windows 7 but I figure I probably want to how to learn how to use this operating system anyway and I want to run this Phoenix Miner too so I guess I'm just gonna have to struggle through and figure out how to use it I think that there are I, I, my biggest objection to Ubuntu is that everything is command line and I understand all the geeks and nerds and the purists and all those people they love that but really I don't think any operating system has a chance of succeeding if it doesn't operate as a GUI and it's really surprising to me that it's not simplified already that everything is GUI based the way Windows is or the way Apple is I guess you know I understand people love the command line and but people aren't gonna learn a language you don't you know that for me that would be the equivalent of having a gigantic toolbox of electrical inputs and everything else to be able to drive your car which is just stupid people don't need to work on cars to drive them same thing with computers Windows is Windows 7 which I really like is you know pretty much shown that you don't need to be able to type in commands at a command line to be able to use an operating system so that kind of bothers me about Ubuntu and the community that they are really kind of elitists almost I guess would be the way I look at it and obviously that's not going to be successful in the long run if they but I maybe they don't care maybe they could care less whether there's desktop users but so yeah it's a struggle to get things working but pretty much everything's working except my ability to remote in and my ability to get connected to these mining pools so any help that anyone has on that I'd really appreciate it and uh, I will let you know how it goes and I'll talk to you next time